Hi there, welcome back to Analyze Makeup Tutorial Channel. So the Jurassic World movie is about to come out and I am so excited. This is probably one of the movies I've been most excited for its release this year. So in celebration of the movie coming out, I decided to do a makeup inspired by a T-Rex. Now this is kind of a face painty type of makeup and definitely a really cool one that you can do for Halloween this year. I think there's going to be a lot of dinosaurs running around this Halloween because of Jurassic World. So today I'm going to show you how to create this T-Rex dinosaur look. Let's get started. Firstly, I'm taking my green liner pencil from Face of Australia and I'm using this to apply the outline of my T-Rex face around my forehead, my mouth and my eyes. And on the forehead, you sort of want to have two pointy bits coming out of either side. This is where the T-Rex's eyebrows sort of protrude from the face. Next, I'm taking my green face paint from Snazaroo and spritzing it with a little bit of water to activate it. And then I'm applying this inside that whole outlined area, just leaving the space around my eyes clean. You might need to apply a couple of layers of the face paint to make it really nice and even and very brightly coloured. And I'm just switching to a smaller brush to apply the paint around the chin area as well as getting nice and close to the edges of the outline. Next I'm taking this dark green eyeshadow from Inglot and I'm using this to apply some shading around the edges of the outline as well as around the cheeks and contouring down the sides of the nose. I'm taking this white eyeshadow also from Inglot Cosmetics and this bit does take quite a while to do but it is very effective so I'm just taking a very small brush and applying some dinosaur scales across the top of my forehead down my nose around my cheeks and around my eyes the way that I'm applying these are random shapes that sort of mold to the next shape so if the end of one shape curves outwards the start of the next shape should curve inwards. Okay, now I'm taking my black face paint from Merin and spritzing it with a little bit of water. And I'm using a very thin brush to go over the top of the original lines that we drew with that green pencil. And then I'm also using that black face paint to add some cracking effects around the forehead and the lips of the face to make it look as though our T-Rex skin is slightly aged and cracking. I'm also filling in the areas around the eyes using that black face paint and adding some extra detail around the face like some small lines down the side of the nose as well as a nostril on either side of the nose more detailing around the cheeks and then adding some semicircle shapes around the tops of the eyes. This almost looks like a sugar skull effect. I'm now taking my brown liner pencil from Face of Australia and I'm using this to draw on the outlines of my T-Rex teeth. So I am doing a top and a bottom layer of teeth and they're going to be nice and pointy and pretty much extend the whole way along that mouth outline that we've already drawn. I'm then taking my black face paint once again and applying that over the top of the brown outline that we've just drawn. And then I'm using my brown liner pencil once again to draw a curved line around my bottom lip area. And then I'm taking a red face paint and filling in that area so that it looks like a tongue. Now I'm taking my black face paint again on a small brush and applying that around the tongue area and between all of the teeth. Now I'm taking my white face paint from Merin and spritzing it with a little bit of water and then I'm using a very thin brush to apply lines next to all of the black detailing that we've already drawn on the face. This gives each of the lowlights a highlight and makes them look more effective. I'm also using this white face paint to add some extra scaling around the face which gives us a different level of boldness in our scaling. I'm then using that white face paint to carefully fill in each of the teeth. It is very important at this stage that you wipe the brush clean in between each tooth 
Otherwise you'll end up dragging that black face paint through the teeth and they will turn grey. Now if you're just creating this look for a kid's face paint, I would recommend stopping there. But if you did want to wear this look for Halloween, I would recommend wearing a green top and taking the paint down onto your neck the way that I'm doing right here. It's obviously up to you depending on what you're wearing as to how far down you take this green face paint. But I'm just taking it down slightly past my collarbones and feathering out the edges. Once I've completely covered that area using the green, I'm also taking my black once again and lining around my jawbone so that we have a clearly defined line where our dinosaur jaw is. I'm then also taking some random cracking lines down onto my neck using that black face paint. And lastly using my white face paint to apply the highlights next to the black face paint and also add in some larger dinosaur scales. Okay, and now we have our completed T-Rex dinosaur makeup look. And also, another really cool way to finish off this look would be to add in some yellow contacts into your eyes. I actually thought that I had some which I was going to pop in today, but I've just looked everywhere and I can't find them. So you'll see in the thumbnail that I've changed my eyes to be yellow, but it'd obviously be way cooler if I actually had the contacts. So that's just a suggestion of something you can do as well if you're doing this look for Halloween. I hope you enjoyed this look today and if you're super excited about the Jurassic World movie, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you would like updates on my new videos. I do two new videos every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you for the next tutorial. Bye Analyzers! T-Rex trying to do makeup? <laughs>